Okay, so this will be my first video in my little mini-series. Uh, so this first video will be talking about how to make an unturned server. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is press the top link in the description. It'll bring you to this page, which is the drive download. You would need to download these two folders right here. Okay, once you have that downloaded, you can press this bottom left folder right here. That'll open up the two zip files. Now you want to open up File Explorer and go to your C drive. In your C drive, you want to make two new folders. One of them is going to be named Unturned. And make sure you spell that right. And the second one will be Steam CMD, all lowercase. Okay, so next what you're going to want to do is move your uh, zip files Move the archive E677 into the unturned folder and Steam CMD into Steam CMD folder. Okay, now you can close that. All right, now you can open up your unturned folder and here you wanna extract this. Okay, so you have that. Um, open up this and you wanna drag this back to the unturned folder. Okay, so you have unturned scripts inside the unturned folder. You can delete the rest. Okay, so here you have your starter and unturned updater. You want to drag the starter into your unturned folder, and you can keep the unturned updater here. Okay, going back to your C drive in Steam CMD, you want to extract all again. So you have Steam CMD. You can drag this directly back to your Steam CMD folder. Okay, and then you can delete the rest. Okay, so in your Steam CMD folder, you want to open up Steam CMD executable file. Also, you can look at file names by doing view file name extensions. There you could see it's steamcmd.exe. This might take a second. Okay, once it's done, you can just type in quit, enter. Okay, so now you have all these folders, cool. I'm gonna go back to unturned, unturned scripts. Now you want to run unturned updater. Now when you press that, you might get something that says Windows protected your PC. Uh, all you want to do is click more info and run anyway, and then that'll finalize the virus in your computer. I'm just kidding. If you're having issues where the server wasn't updating or it was saying you're on like an old version, you just want to run this every time and it should work. Okay, so once it's loaded, press any key to continue. That closes. Now you want to go back to your unturned folder, and it made this collection of folders. What we're looking for is the starter.bat that we moved here. This will be the file that starts your server, so you just open up that. So what it's creating here is the actual LAN server. Um, your friends that aren't on your internet won't be able to connect. You can just allow access. And right now it's setting everything to default. So I believe the map set should be PEI and the mode should be easy and sheets should be disabled. So here, if we open up unturned. Okay, so now that we're in unturned, you can go to play, connect, and then for IP, you can put localhost. And for port, you would put 27015 and you click connect and then there you can press join and now you should be in your server now this is a LAN server so for port forwarding that'll come in a different video I will link that in the description later now if you go back you can go over to your command line and here we can do any type of command. So you can do kick and then username. And if you go back to unturned, I was kicked from the server. Okay, so that works. You can also do save, which will save all the files for the game. I forgot to mention that you can do the command say and text of what you want to say in the server. So you can communicate to your friends from the command prompt. And um, whenever you want to close this, just type in shut down, no space, all lowercase, and then you can just exit out. 
Okay, now to customize your server, you want to go to servers, server, and then you want to go to server, and then you want to go to commands.dat, and you want to open that with notepad. Okay, here is where you would put in all the commands. So, name of the server, you can have like, I don't know, unturned is basically modded Minecraft, yeah? Um, for port, uh, you just do 27015. And then you can also do owner. And here you would put your Steam ID. This is like that really long number that corresponds to your Steam username or your Steam profile. Uh, that'll just make you admin. Uh, there's also map. Um, so to check maps, actually, if we go back to here, we can go over to maps here. Yeah, so if you go to the unturned folder and you go over to maps, these are all the maps that you can play right now. And you, you can just set that here. So map name, make sure you spell it exactly how it has these folders. So let's do Russia. So that's R-U. SSIA. Make sure the R is capital. Now you can also set max players. Uh, this is like the max amount of people you can have in your server. It doesn't really matter for me, so I'm just going to put something like 32. And then perspective, you can set to first, which is first person, third, which, you know, third person, and then both. I usually keep mine on both. Mode is like the difficulty. So you can have that on easy, which limits special zombies. Uh, you can have that normal, which is what I've been playing always. And you can also have hard, which no one ever plays um, because it's pain. Uh, you can also have, uh, we'll just set it to normal because we're cool. Uh, welcome message. Uh, you can set that to whatever you want. We'll just do ha 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 funny because this server is funny. Uh, you can also change the color for it. You just put in a color code after that. You can also set password. This is so random people don't join. Uh, you can make up whatever. Uh, let's just do password with a zero. You can also do PvP, which just turns on player versus player. You can also do player versus environment, which is PvE. You can also change cheats. So cheats enabled or cheats disabled. So for this one, we're just going to keep it PvE. Okay, so if we file save now, and we can go back to the unturned folder and open up server bat. Okay, so that should load up. Looks like everything is right. Okay, so it finished. We can go back to unturned. And now we can click connect. Okay, here. So map Russia. Cheats are disabled. Mode is normal. Combat player versus environment. Perspective is both. And that looks good. So we can click join. Okay, so now we have a password. So we put in our password. If you forgot, you can go back over here. Go over to servers, server, server, commands.dat, and right here is our password. You should just be able to copy paste that in. No, you cannot. Okay, so pass word with the zero, and we're joining. There, once that loads in, we can finally play. We, we have our welcome message, which is green by default. Again, you can change that with color codes. And so if we look around, yeah, it seems to be working. Okay, let's go back again. Okay, so we can exit out of that. Uh, now I'll be showing you how to use workshop maps and anything from the workshop. So this is where uh, this becomes a little bit more trickier. So here we can save, doesn't really matter, shut down the server. Okay, and then just exit out. Alright, so now 
we can head on over back to servers, server, server, commands dot dat. Uh, let's, okay, so for the, the purpose of this video, uh, let's find a map to play. Okay, so workshop. Let's do Hawaii. Okay, here we go, Hawaii. All right, so subscribe. The thing with maps is uh, you'll have to find them on the workshop and subscribe to them. This looks like the official Hawaii one. It says it was made by SDG Nelson. Nelson is the creator of Unturned, so we can tell that this is official. Some might have the same name and not be official, so you want to watch out for that. Yeah, it doesn't say here, but you're also going to need a thing called Hawaii Assets. Okay, so here, SDG Nelson, Hawaii Assets. This also looks official. So yeah, we can just subscribe. We already subscribed to that, so that's good. Okay, so this is why it gets a little trickier. Um, since we go back here to our unturned folder, and we go to maps, these are the only maps we can play because these are the official maps of unturned. Workshop maps will be listed in server, under workshop, and then maps. So we have nothing here. So to put something here, we have to go to Unturned in Steam. We go over, right click Unturned, go to Properties, then go Local Files, Browse Local Files. Now this is where it gets really fun. We actually don't need to be in this Unturned folder, so we want to go back to Steam Apps up here. And then we want to go down to Workshop, Content, and 304930, which is this one. And now we have to rummage through random folders, which all correlate to stuff you got in the workshop. Okay, so if you have it as date modified, this is the most recent one we interacted with. Since we subscribe to it in the workshop, it'll be at the top. So if you open it up, you can see it's Hawaii. So you can take that, copy it. Now you wanna go back to your unturned maps folder. Again, if you don't know where this is, this is our unturned folder. Then you want to go to server, server, workshop, maps, paste that in. And that is our Hawaii map. Okay, so this is what you want to put into the, com into the command notepad. So we can just copy that. Okay, so we have that, and then we go over back to server 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 commands dot dat map you can paste that in hawaii file save exit that out and then we go back we still have to add one more thing in we go over back to workshop content and then this is where we're looking for hawaii assets so this is really fun because now we have to look through all of these folders so this is me uh, looking through all of these folders like a complete idiot. So I will be right back. Okay, so I had no luck finding it. So another way you could do this is if you go over to Steam, you can go to View, Settings, Interface, and then Display Web Addresses when available. Cr press OK. Now you can go over to Unturned Workshop. Go back to Hawaii Assets right here, and it'll give you the number listed right here at the top. So we're looking for that exact ID in this folder. So it starts with 1753. So 1753, 1753, 13. So it's not this one, it's really close. It must be, yes, it's this one. Okay, so then we take this, we copy it. We go over to copy. And then we go back to our unturned folder. Remember, we were in content. You paste this in. Okay, once that's in, you can go back. Go back to your unturned folder. Press starter bat. And now you should load up the map. If you're getting any red, that usually means you did something wrong. Uh, when I was making an older server, I was getting constant error messages for this item ID inside yada yada spawn table uh, could not be found or whatever. Um, so to fix that, I had to actually go over to 
um, our servers server go to the workshop and the content folder it, it was because I was missing a certain asset so the more things you add like the more complex maps that use more assets from different uh, like older maps that are more official you'd have to add more content stuff into here these are basically the NPC stories and the items and vehicle spawns and all that so it looks like our world loaded so if we go over to unturned play connect localhost port 27015 connect yeah we're on hawaii and then you join again we have a password p-a-s-s-w-o-0-r-d then join and then boom just like that we load it into hawaii Again, you would do that with different maps to load in the content and the map. For France, it would be France, the map, and then you'd also need France assets. You might have to do some outside research to figure out what content uh, and assets some maps use, but that shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, so thanks for watching. I will get out new videos concerning port forwarding and how to host more complex things in the future. So stay tuned for that, the mini-series will continue, and I'll see you guys in the next one.